Hey guys, Steven here. Today we're going to talk about common problems that you will most likely run into if you buy this car. So this is a 2007 Infiniti D35 and we're going to jump right in guys. The first common problem a lot of people have are the windows. The window motor on this car likes to go out a lot so whenever you're trying to roll the window up a lot of times it doesn't work fortunately mine does work on both sides I've gotten really lucky that mine has worked you know fingers crossed it doesn't give out on me number two guys is the seat it's happening just a little bit to me it hasn't gotten too too bad yet but this is a huge issue for G owners the seat right here uh, will tear. I had a 2004 Infiniti G35 before, and this actually tore all the way from here, all the way up about right there, and it was just all worn out. It was beige, it looked like shit. It was, it was nasty, it wasn't pretty. The next common issue, guys, is for G35s, and it also covers uh, 350Zs as well have this same issue. So, right there, the lower control arm, I don't know if you can tell, but it is off-centered. The bushing has gone bad, and this is actually a replacement. The replacement went bad too. So, on the lower control arm, and I will put a link for you guys right here. And just click on that, guys, and that will link to a video on the fix. I actually fixed this already. Um, so that'll show you a video on how you can actually fix this problem. The next common issue is oil consumption. This car will suck down more oil than, uh, well, anything else you know that sucks a lot of stuff. Now, this is a very common issue for the G35. However, it can be avoided by buying an early year 2003 or 2004 G35. Those cars did not suck up as much oil as the newer ones did. Your 2005 to 2007s are going to suck up a lot more oil, specifically if you have the rev up engine. You can tell you have a rev up engine by looking at your timing chain cover right here. Right here you see two little uh, covers right here, it's actually one big cover but two slots. And what this is guys, this is the intake timing valve cover and the exhaust timing valve cover and your sensor right here you have a rev up if you have both of these if you only have one with this out here and just this one this is non-existent right there if you only have this one then you don't have the rev up um, and you probably don't have as much cons oil consumption nevertheless this thing sucks down some freaking oil and the catch can I installed right here that helps, but it doesn't help completely. The older this motor gets, the more oil this thing is going to keep sucking down. Next up is the headlights. As you can see, this headlight isn't too bad. I've cleaned these headlights like four freaking times. This headlight, not that bad, a little bit of yellowing. However, my driver's side headlight looks like complete shit step back and hopefully we can get a picture with both of them all right so if you look at the driver's side it is definitely a lot more yellow than the other one I just can't keep these things freaking clean they keep yellowing up on me because I park outside so eventually I'm just gonna buy new ones and I'm gonna say screw it but this is a common issue you guys my 2004 I owned and this is 2007 both of these have yellowing headlights it's just a common thing for the infinity it's gonna happen next up is your locking mechanism so luckily mine works so I haven't had this issue guys but a lot of infinity owners G35 owners have the issue where the locking mechanism the motor on it gives out and you have to actually end up replacing the mechanism not not the key but you have to actually replace the mechanism inside the door so that they can actually use it and not have to use their freaking key every single time that they want to go and open their car 
last but most certainly not least guys is the transmission um for some reason when infinity well when nissan made the transmission for the 350z and the g35 don't know what happened in the later years but the transmission in the later years um started to get the gears the uh, the synchros go bad pretty quickly um so if you're not either double clutching or just taking your time uh, shifting gears, the synchros on these things actually go bad, really bad. Mine actually grinds going into fifth gear. Um, if I double clutch, I don't have the issue. It actually won't grind. But if I don't double clutch at all, then the thing grinds like a son of a bitch get, trying to get in there. But other than that third to fourth is great second to first is great second to third is iffy third to fourth yeah fifth gear is just sucks in general by itself all together and sixth gear is good too i've heard a lot of times that third gear is actually the one that goes bad really quickly and yes whoever owned the car before me put this on incorrectly it didn't screw it like back on all the way and i just haven't fixed it yet but I've heard that third gear uh, is actually the one that goes really bad in Nissan 350Zs. Um, I heard that's actually the gear that goes bad the most often. So I really hope this video helps some of you guys out. Um, if you're trying to decide whether or not you actually want to buy a G35, guys, I love this car. This is the second one I've owned. I actually bought this car knowing all the issues that I was getting into. Um, if you don't mind fixing the issues guys, it's a great car. It's an awesome car to have. It's really fun to drive. Um, and I will put a little uh, link right up here. Um, you guys can click on that. It goes over the five things that I love most about this car. Um, but if you're considering buying it, should I buy it, should I not? Guys, I love this car. If you like a sports car that's fun to drive, reliable, it's a good daily car, but you can also uh, track it as well if you do some work to it. This is the car that you guys really, really want to have. If you, you know, I love the look of it. I love that it's classy, but at the same time, it's considered a sports car. So that's why I love this car, guys. I really hope this video helps some of you out. If it did, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.